Welcome back to King Kong Crusader Dong with your boy, Sir Hittle Dirt, who yesterday spent all of the money in the world to lose a war. So now we are a fucking mountain of gold in check, but we do, in check, in debt, but we do have a very fancy little horse whose name I forgot to change. Fuck, give me a minute. Oh, mighty Frigidissimus, I will be very sad when you die because you cost a fucking fortune. Maybe, maybe I was a little bit... I will admit, I think I jumped the gun somewhat to go for a horse at, at this level. Particularly when we don't have any fucking money anymore. Raimondo Dirt is... What the hell has happened here? So his wife is in prison. Oh, because she's apparently an apostate. Fair enough. And now he's gone nuts because of it. Uh... Well, I guess that... Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, that's no kid of ours. That's okay. So, how are we looking at in terms of the dynasty size? Now, we've got seven living members. That's not too bad. Uh, none of them have any kids yet. That doesn't seem right. I thought we had a child yesterday from one of them. Um, we will spend the 25 prestige to sway our leech. What? I feel like I'm... One of them had a kid, though, didn't they? Maybe it was a bastard? Must have been a bastard, right? I feel like I'm losing my mind, because I could swear that we had a... Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Right, okay. So they're all married off. That's the important thing. Oh, she's just about to have Babby formed. So there you go. Problem solved, huh? We're going to make friends with Episcopus Athel here, who is a complete fucking lunatic. All right, fine. I've grown closer to Athel here. I feel like that's not a good idea, is it? And a daughter named Delinda Dirt. Okay, um, that's fine. Like I said, we'll rename them as we play as them if it, if it becomes appropriate for you. Let's go thrift. We can at least keep them around as good courtiers, though, don't forget, as well, because we are going to struggle to get people to our court, particularly when we're at a small level like this. So, sure. No, actually, I should have trained her in... I should have really gone for, like, duty or one that gives brooding instead so we could turn her into a spy master. Because, obviously, turning her into a steward is going to be very difficult. We'd have to pass a lot of laws for that. So, I've been told over on Discord that, apparently, we have access to a Cassus Belli not dissimilar to the Merchant Republic Cassus Belli that allows us to grab... A, a, the one that allows you to grab a city, we essentially have the equivalent but to grab churches. So I wonder if we could go to our Legis Direct Vassals and build up our power base that way. So find like a really weak, say her, for example, who declare war. Uh, Vassal, uh, must be a leader of our Vassal. Oh, shit, of course. Right, I, I keep forgetting that we did fail that war yesterday for independence. So now this guy likes us a surprising amount, given that I spent uh, a ridiculous amount of gold to try and overthrow him. He actually doesn't care. What's going on? It's almost like the game didn't save or something. Refused to offer a guardianship. He doesn't care that we declared war on him. Yet we very clearly have because we're still in astronomical debt. I have no idea. Look, it doesn't matter too much. We've been swearing him anyway. What is this nonsense? Thanks to my connections, I was able to get in contact with a blackguard hiding in Kaiser Heinrich IV's court. The man assures me that for a reasonable fear, be willing to undermine Heinrich's authority and so dissent among his subjects. I need to decide what I want him to do. Because of our high intrigue, we really got we do have 21 intrigue, don't we? We can uh, we can fabricate Kalama one of his counties for 700 uh, for 174 gold. Not really worth it. Cause unrest. Uh, 104 gold. We can rile him up. We could so dissent amongst his men. Uh, vassals and family against the wall. This is too underhanded for me. It's not underhanded at all, as far as I'm concerned. We were getting revenge on the Kaiser for a reason that I don't remember in hindsight. Um, but now I'm not going to do that because we can't afford it. If we had, if we had more money, I would definitely be doing that. Why did I? Why? Why did I want to antagonize the Kaiser? Am I okay? I feel like I've forgotten everything that's happened over the past sort of week. What the fuck? What are we doing? <laughs> Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and the roots are not safe. In order to protect the pilgrims, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Holy wars have begun. Very nice. Okay. So, I mean, if we get an opportunity to join that, we're going to do it as soon as possible. Try and get the Crusader trait. Maybe, haha, <laughs> win the Pope back on side as we assassinated one of them. So, well, we didn't quite assassinate him. We sent a demon that assassinated on our behalf. So, as far as I'm concerned, there's no blood on our hands here. Oh, a grand debate. So Discord. All uh, right, let's do it. 50 prestige, and we're going to prove what a big brain boy we are. I had no idea this is something that would have happened. I won the... I'm. Oh, I sorry. I may not have won the Grand Debate, but I had plenty of success. We upgraded from scholarly theologian to mastermind. I didn't even know that was a thing that we could do. Holy shit. I suppose it, it goes to show how rarely you end up playing as a theologian character. So we are playing with my education mod that makes it uh, very different and actually fucking useful. Uh, we do lose a bit of fertility though we gain uh, piety, but all the other ones are buffed up to make up for it. Uh, nice. Okay, fair enough then. So we've got 20 stewardship as well. It would make sense that a learned man who has access to all of these various different libraries would have a various trait set, I think, rather than just being extremely good at learning and that's it, which is practically fucking pointless at this level, given that we get no technology anyway.
Poor theological article. Oh, good. Um, can we just dish that off to the... Oh, get out of here. Can we just send that off to the Pope and be done with it? Um, did I open... Oh, you can't open China around the Pope at the same time. Right, hand in paper. Here, take it. It's garbage. We get 50 church influence for that. He's just going to immediately chuck it on the fire. So how many points do we need for the seat in the college? 3,600 church influence. We're about halfway there. Again, I'm hoping that that is dynastic so that our son will inherit that. Same as you would obviously hang on to your China points as well. Fingers crossed. Uh, otherwise, this is going to be very, very difficult to get enough points to join the college. To be fair, though, for the majority of his life, Sir Hitzel hasn't actually had access to the Holy Roman Church. So I guess now we might stand a chance with our next character. How old is he? He's 23. If you could just die soon? <laughs> Every time I've asked for something, he's done it. So uh, fingers crossed that will... Oh, God, we can't afford this. <gasps> I am a psychic god. What a merry feast surrounded by friends and loved ones. I, I feel a thirst coming on. Page, more wine. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Poison. My body is growing numb. Someone please help me. J Jesus. Who would hate me so? Ah, uh, we actually don't know who's doing it either. Uh, although, I have a strong suspicion who it might be. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Could it be our heir and successor, Cardinalis Valde Frigius? Who would hate me so? I cannot believe that he just died when I asked for it. I am so happy with that. I mean, I'm not, because it's shit. Rest in peace, Dirty Shittle, who was a, a very conflicted man. A very conflicted man. We, we've got everything, obviously. We've taken control of uh, Frigid, Frigididimus, whatever the hell the horse was called. Oh, look at this. This is cool. There he is. Frigidissimus, sorry. We've got Cardinal uh, Valde Frigus on Frigidissimus. That's incredible. Let's get all this crap equipped as well, seeing as, uh, seeing as we're paying for the fucking thing. Okay, and our new heir is Emmerich Dirt. Although, when the election kicks off, chances are he will be uh, beaten by someone else. Yeah, immediately beaten by someone else there. Let's go for Emmerich. I'm not going to immediately commit to... Stop showing me this. I'm not going to immediately commit to the uh, the uh, Cardinal... Uh, was it Coadjutor play? Just because I feel like if we have a son or maybe another family member who inherits one of those traits like Strong or Genius, it'd be worth waiting until that guy is of age. Obviously, we run the risk now of losing the election, though. I feel like we are going to have to take some risks like that to some extent. Right, let's go for the business focus because we have still inherited that astronomic debt that needs to be dealt with basically as soon as possible. We had a daughter. or oh, our... Holy shit, they actually did it. Her measles-infested husband actually did manage to churn out a kid. And did she? She didn't inherit powerful, unfortunately. Fine. Welcome aboard. So what is our current character like, then? He, like his father, is cynical. He's ambitious, like his father. He's erudite, but humble. I feel like humble and ambitious are going to cause us some issues here. Uh, Gregarious, too. So how do we want to How do we want to take this guy? I feel like he wouldn't join the Benedictine or the Dominican Order because, uh, well, A, we can't afford it, but B, he's cynical. So I feel like the Hermetic side is a perfect choice for this guy, an ambitious, cynical guy. Again, it doesn't suit a priest, but we got him elected through sheer nepotism, so that's fine. Uh, go for managing a realm. I feel, like, I feel like we've done a pretty good job so far, at least passing down a theocracy through... Oh, fuck. I suppose my views on the whole God thing is a bit too loud. The whole God thing is literally your job, my friend. God is dead. Okay, I'm really glad I picked the Hermetic Society and not one of the orders now. Like some taxes. Let's get... Oh, God, you're terrible. Uh, I guess we'll swap you out then. Let's get you... To be honest, none of these are, are really worthwhile, are they? None of these make any difference. Research military tech. That's the only way we can get military tech points. Um, you can just... You're also fired. You're garbage. Let's get someone else slightly better who can help pave over some of these relations. You could study tech. That's another way we could actually get some tech points here. I ship him off to Constantinople. He is our half-brother and friend. So it really sucks if he died. He's got high intrigue or decently high intrigue. So the chance of being caught is obviously lowered. Um, court chaplain. I guess we'll just stick him to hunting of prostates here. Okay, fine. So let's check out and see if we actually can do some more of this. Uh, so do we have to target, like, maybe a temple? Maybe we can target a temple. Okay, there's no other temples under us. Um, and we can't obviously can't hold castle cities or anything like that either. So let's check out a temple directly under our liege. And so our liege is direct liege. So this one. Um, can't declare what Again, we need a valid castle spell. Are we going to look into that? Maybe we need, like, a higher authority or something like that? Um, no, well, the, the, yeah, that's a fair point. We are into the HRE, so that's not relevant. Uh... I don't know. Let me let me look into this. Oh, uh, right. I see. Um, so we have to be... Wait, do we have to be independent? They have to be a theocracy. Oh, no, wait. From is not a theocracy. Or a... Play so they can't be a playable theocracy, but they have to be a theocrat. Okay, that's fine. So it basically stops you targeting other players. Has to be a higher rank than Baron, which of course we are. We have to be a theocracy, which of course we are. Um... We can't be a liege or above of the character we're targeting. We can't be a vassal or below of the character we're targeting. 
And we need 25 piety. I bet that was it. No, but we've got 25 piety now. Okay. Um, we have to be a baron. Uh, it's capital no Honor type is temple. So we can't target the capital. So it has to be a baron level character that we target with this. They have to share a border with us. And that's apparently it. But it doesn't seem to work. Um, uh, maybe I am missing something else here. Maybe, maybe there is something else that's necessary. Uh, maybe when we become a duke tier, we might be able to target other theocracies. But it can't be their capital though, can it? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know why we can't target them. Um, hmm. Well, it doesn't matter too much, does it? That's fine. It's not a big deal. Because the only reason I wanted to go to war right now was to try and get another province, which in turn could provide us with a bit more cash. Because if you haven't noticed, we're <laughs> massively fucked right now. So that's going to take a long time to actually pay that off. I guess we could just spend some time in the society. Spend some time just living our life as a nice little pretty boy. Spend some time. Did it? Oh, it carried over. Brilliant. Okay, that's exactly what we were hoping for then. Let's write a paper. Let's just endear the, the Pope to us a little bit. And then when we can pay off our debts, that's when we can really start making some power plays. Also worth mentioning, this was a comment on yesterday's episode. Would you fuck off? Oh, wait, 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 wait. we know this. Uh, okay. So for those of you who didn't see the Vampire series, there is a, a, a power... I, I think it is a base game thing. It could just be a problem with the Vampire series, but there was a, a, a way we managed to scum this up in that if we cancel the mission and then do this and, and, and carry on with the event chain, we say enough is enough, and then it always, for whatever reason, gave us the... No. Okay. So it's probably the vampire mod. Okay. Never mind then. Oh, well. Um, I was kind of hoping we'd be able to come up with the base game as well. Let's say, and maybe another mod patches it over that we've got in this pack. That's more likely, I think. Fine. Never mind. Okay. Should have probably stopped with that then. To be honest, I can't that events is too expensive. So one thing we can do. This is the point I was going to make. Uh, someone left a comment on the comment section yesterday that we can buy or we can sell influence, I should say, to the Pope. But it's 200 influence for 50 gold. And 50 gold is going to put the smallest of scratch into our debt. But the, in terms of the influence that we need, it's actually quite significant. If we're going to get a seat on the College of Cardinals with anybody, I think this guy... What happens when you're elected into Rome? I'm just thinking, because you'd be elected as Pope. We could get this guy elected Pope, and then we could just... Then the, the challenge then becomes, how much can we empower our dynasty as we are the Pope? What happens then? Because if we... If we don't get elected Pope, will our current... Say, say will this one stay in our family and then if we're not elected pope our we'll just play as our next dynasty member rather than the next papal successor rather than the preferatus that's going to be interesting i assume we'll play as just our dynastic successor instead right so whoever's back in the uh, in wherever we came from no different to losing say uh, an imperial election within the hre for example okay fair enough so let's go ahead and set up an apprentice court chaplain join me in our study of everything but god excellent cup bearer oh, that went so well last time I, I would really love to know if did we is there any way to check if, if if we, this character, killed fucking did? Yeah, obviously he did. Kills one, died in the suspicious circumstances. Oh, I wonder who could have killed him. It was this guy then. Wow. Just maybe he did it because he saw how corrupt and just evil his father was. Thank you. 30 gold. Okay, it's not as good as I thought it would be. Deus Vault. Deus, um, absolutely Deus Vault. Pledge our troops to the crusade. 100 piety gained immediately. Um, oh my god, look at this. Okay, this is going to be fairly interesting then. So how are we looking in terms of, what are we going for? Jerusalem? Uh, Crusade for Jerusalem. So we're against Egypt, who aren't particularly powerful right now. They're in the middle of a revolt too. Uh, 1,000, so we've got 16,000 men. Huh. This could be a very, very easy crusade then. We definitely want to get in. Oh my god, the money ticking up is absolutely ridiculous. We, we want to get in on this. We absolutely want to get in this. We will keep our titles. So we're, we're absolutely keeping those. Our beneficiary will pick one anyway, but obviously they're not going to get our shit. We could, though. Hang on. We absolutely could. Why not get, uh, set up a beneficiary? And then our family, our dynasty. The whole point of this is to corrupt the church to allow our dynasty to thrive. What better excuse is there than to set up our dynasty with the kingdom of Jerusalem via a, a holy war? We're not going to win it. I should also point that out. I don't think a random duke from like the, the, the mountains in Italy is eventually going to crack... Jerusalem, but we'll give it a fucking go, huh? Sambal. Sambal, my friend. Um, we will stay as our recipient unless it's looking like we're gonna win the crusade, at which point we'll flip it over to Sambal. Actually, do you have to announce that before you start? I don't know if you could change a beneficiary mid-war like that. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. Do you want to change the target? Um, yeah, we do. We do. Who do you want to change it to? Let's see here. Uh, I'm thinking we'll go for a... How much is it? I've never actually changed the war target ever. Um... Request that he changes it. I guess that depends on how much the Pope likes us. Maybe then he'll clap back and say, yeah, give me a thousand gold or something like that. Never done it before. So that's that's going to remain a mystery. But it will be useful later on if we do want to take ourselves some uh, <clears throat> some more land for our dynasty somewhere. Meow. Let's borrow some money from the Jews. Temple Vassal opinion is lower. 
but we can pay off the general opinion modifier. So only Temple Vassal people will hate us, but everyone else will like us a little bit more. The Jews also ask for less of a less of the interest compared to the base game loan. So base game loan is what, like 400 payoff, whereas the Jews only ask for 350. That seems good. So let's do that one. Let, let's repay this one off immediately. Oh my God, we can find a loophole because of our high stewardship. Really? Very nice. Okay, so we're going to drop that down. Oh, is it bugged where it's not actually going to remove the gold from us? Okay, I'll have to manually remove the gold. Or it just didn't even clear the modifier. Are you joking? Re repay the loan. Uh, I'm going to lend her an alarming debt. Is, is that right? Is it, is it working? Oh, it's working. Okay, fine. So we are a little bit in debt here. So I'm kind of hoping that the... I'm kind of hoping that the crusade will at least fund us a little bit. Maybe we could do a little tiny bit of damage here and get something out of it. There's a lot of artifacts going as well. Um, I cannot afford to donate anything. I definitely cannot. But we would, we will get in here and uh, see what see what damage we can do. What troops we got? Fuck. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe maybe we'll we'll at least go for the crusader trait and then we'll see how we're doing, huh? Seven, and we're off. Okay. Well done, team. Thank you very much. And uh, let's keep that pause for a second. Keep pause for a second. We're going to have to walk all the way there. Uh, we, we are very much landlocked up here. So, shit. All right. Let's just walk all the way over there then. Um, <laughs> this is so dumb. Can we not just hire a... Can we hire a single boat? All I need is like a dinghy. Have you got any... Got any dinghies for sale? Um, not that we'd be able to afford it anyway, seeing as we're minus 210 debt. Okay. Let's hope that we can sort of get on a vanguard somewhere. Let's, let's come this up a little bit. Get on a vanguard. Uh, have we got any movement speed based commanders? No. We've got two com two strong commanders. Why are we on the center? Oh, well, fuck it. We'll get on the vanguard and see if other people are willing to join. So we'll start like a risky battle. Hope that people reinforce us. And that's a hell of a way to get some war score if it works. What the hell's going on here? Oh my god, we're also at war with the Byzantine Empire, aren't we? How am I even going to get there? Right, okay. Change of plan. <laughs> we're going to walk all the way around through Georgia, straight through the Caucasus Mountains, and we're going to head south from there. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Guys, guys, I think we're... At no! Oh, come on! And they were never seen again. We got a little bit lost on our way to the Crusade. You motherfucker, of course, they would have a revolt in the Sea of Azov. What was I expecting? Oh, that's so annoying. Well, we've still got 12 men left. 12 loyal men. You know, let's just go. Let's just see if we can sneak on through the Byzantine Empire here. Because, look, everyone else is finally... You're going backwards. I thought I was going the wrong way, but there are some of these armies that have just lost their fucking mind. Right, let's see if we can sneak on through Constantinople. Uh, we are just a traveling band of priests. Ignore our arms and weapons and, and deus vaulting. Okay, careful. Right, careful. Careful. Okay, just give them, give them the old slip. Give them the old one-two. Perfect. Okay, that's half the battle. Cross the Sea of Marmite and then head south. Okay, please excuse me. Oh, God. Careful, careful, careful. The Trumpets of Doom? You receive a report that the outcome of your military experiments that my martial arts you to sponsor. Apparently, the experiments consisted of training a large force of musicians to blow their trumpets in unison. It's fucking Mountain Blade. Oh, my God. To think we could probably be out of debt right now. Well, at least we got something to play at our funeral. Okay, careful. That's it. Sneak on by. No, no, no. What? No, you not pledge your troops up doing taking the crusade? I'm trying to. How do I how do I join his war? Excuse me. Let me in, Chief. Uh I thought we were also Did not say we automatically accepted his call to arms because is it just because we haven't done anything yet? Uh yeah, it's because we haven't done anything. Hey, fuck off. Okay, careful. Oh no. Right, that's it. Sneak on, sneak on through there. Shit, where are they going? Uh we seem to have hit a bit of a Byzantine blockade. Okay, here we are. Are they gonna are they gonna win? We're getting a pleasant trait, sure. Reinforce that one. There, he's clearing away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Almost Christian soldier. Oh, okay. And then... Fuck. Uh, uh, we seem to be in the middle of a rock and a hard place. Okay, south. Never stop, never stop. No, 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 no. We're free. Okay, fine. He's going to leave that province. Then it's 17 versus 14, a battle we can actually take part in. Onwards. Do this. Okay, we're fine. And then one man. One man's not going to stop us now. Oh my god, we're almost up the Holy Land, boys. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that was tricky. We need to start decision wherever is the first province in Jerusalem. We're going to hit Beirut. We're going to hit Beirut. We're going to hit them hard. I want that Crusader trait. My brother, I have a proposal. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Fine. We'll just spend the least amount of money on this one. Ten gold is fine. Here we are. Blasphemous must... Whoa. I was about hearing a wise man in a local area. I decided to go and see him and see what he has to offer. He starts talking about ephemeral concepts that sound like blasphemy. Um, I'll, I will offer... I will learn what you have to offer. Blasphemer or not. Okay, we've got uh, Blasphemous must die, but libraries contain knowledge. We gain Zealous, we gain Cruel and 50 Cultural Tech. Uh, maybe Monothelii has 
more to offer than Catholicism. Um, I think that is fault. We're here for a fucking reason, sir. And now we're zealous. And now we've got an excuse. We're here. Oh, he's done it. He avoided the Byzantine blockade and got the Crusader trait. That's a great start. Okay. Um, the question is, can we now contribute to the war? Zero percent. How are we losing this when they've got so many... Should we just attach to an army and see if we can piggy black off someone else's glory here? Rescue cut in patch AI2 have played Assassin's Creed. Um, I think we found the tome, Hugo. Shit. This seems like a losing war. Why have we... Okay, right, this is fine. Look, we're attached to quite a big unit now. I'm going to leave him to it. And if our guy dies in battle randomly, I'm going to be quite pissed. Gain the title of steward. Hey, very nice. What is this weird event? As we travel through Ascalon, we come across a festival to the ancient gods celebrating by the local populace. Reminds me of some of the harvest festivals we have at home. Every single option here is bad, by the way. So we either lose Gregarious, lose Zealous, or chance it's uh, uh, possessed. So take part in the festivities. We lose gold. We lose piety. We lose Zealous, but we gain two diplomacy. Oh, what a fucking consolation prize. It's not befitting of a true Christian. 25 piety, but 50% chance of losing Zealous. Or maybe these are harvest festivals to the real gods. Oh, nice. Gains a trait possessed. That's guaranteed. We don't lose Zealous, though. Uh, we gain diplomacy plus two. For 20 years. Oh, 10 years. Uh, no, that is definitely 20 years. Uh, fertility plus 20%. Opinion of... This is so weird. So the question is, do we take... Do we lose Zealous? Chance of losing Gregarious? Or take... Possess, but a load of other buffs as well. Lose 50 piety. Given that piety right now is currently our biggest stat. Oh, guys, going through some weird changes. Gone from cynical to zealous to a fucking animal. I'm fine with it, though. Personal combat. Realistically, it's just personal combat, attraction, opinion, same trait, opinion. One of our most possessed characters we've ever had in CK2 was the most zealous character we've ever had in CK2. That being, uh, don't tell me, I'll remember her name. Uh, the, the Greek woman we played as. I don't remember her name now. Oh, shit. That is not... Oh, wow, okay. Uh, when I joined the crusade for Jerusalem, I never expected the loneliness and the longing for home. Yeah, because we have so much back there. The crippling debt and the bailiffs at the door. Um, I have to keep going. Game diligent, guaranteed. Hell yeah. We actually won. Your boy's getting some points. 204 points. You're welcome, by the way. You're welcome. I think we can basically thank... Uh, I mean, you've only got us to thank for this at all. Let's join the Pope. Let's, let's latch onto the Pope here. There we are. Boom. Oh, or not, because I was moving a lot. Hang on, come back. Pope. Pope, come back. Son, Nice. Borislav? Is that what that says? Welcome, Borislav. Um, we need a we need a successor, so I'm going to start training him in... Hang on. No, no, no. Not Faith. Don't fall for those lies. Let's go for Fussy and Curious. Preferably Curious. We are going to not name you yet. We'll name you when you become our successor. Um, take part in the festivities. Yeah. Lose Zealous. Oh, no. Um, gain Lunatic rather than Possessed. Lose Stress, though. Done. That's an easy trade-off, I think. So he's just gone a bit mad. The, the, the war sent him a bit mad. You know, it's, it's getting to him quite a lot. The mountain of bodies, the, the slaughter. He's not prepared for this. He's never fought anybody in his life. And then he's just read about it in maybe some of his priestly books. He's gone a little bit nuts along the way. Oh, that's fine. That's completely acceptable, I think. Um, what was I doing before he rudely interrupted? All oh, right, educating that kid. Uh, it was my brother's child, yeah? Okay, let's assign you a guardian. And then let's... I mean, we would be not a terrible candidate right now, given that we are... Diligent, humble, zealous, erudite. I'll take it. Yeah, okay. What the hell is going... Oh, no. Did we... Wait, look, look at this. Look at this. As we pass through Ascalon, we come across a small group of Eastern Christians. They happily received us as long as brothers and sisters and give us a place to sleep and rest for the night. Ascalon becomes Nestorian. I feel like that's a lot of power you've just given us there. What? Um, We gain piety. We lose 150 gold. But Ascalon becomes Nestorian. Oh, because we are... Oh, let me help you spread your faith, friends. Oh, how's it if you read, you moron? My god, one I just wish I could read. Thank you for your hospitality. Um lose 150 gold for charitable. Yeah. Yeah. The lunatic the, the zealous lunatic Christian man. His father went the opposite direction. This guy's gone com you know, father went completely nuts and then became like a full blown Satanist and summoned a demon to kill the Pope. We're going the opposite way. We've become like madly zealous overnight. I think that's... Oh, my God. I was kind of hoping that was our father there for a second. You are confined to your bed. Your body racked with eggs and chills. You have contracted the coronavirus. Alas. Okay, I think we'll be... Uh, my life is in your hands. I mean, if we t if we lose our dicker and balls, it doesn't matter too much because we're a good man of the cloth. Um, so, do you know what you're doing? Yeah, let's be a bit more careful. He's proven that he can't really be trusted. Oh, fuck. Right, sack him. Where is he? 
Uh, uh, b -b 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 priest, priest court physician. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's no one to replace him with. Never mind. Would we bring him along? Is he one of the six men that we've brought to the, the Holy Land? He's probably attached to someone here. Six men just standing around? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's something. We've still got a title. We're still alive. Uh. Huh. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> We're back just to before we got charitable, and we can now get charitable for free, or we could steal a load of stuff. I think we'll take charitable again, uh, just to try and keep it back on. Oh, I say for free. It's 46. Go again, I wish I could read. Um, oh, we no, 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 no. We are not leading troops here, are we? I mean, we're leading troops, but I thought we would just be part of the... Oh, my God, we're leading our own troops. So we're down here somewhere as a sub-commander. Uh, fuck knows where we be. We're around there somewhere anyway. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, heavy infantry then. Give me that. And boom. Prestige. Prestige, boys. Um, if you could please stay attached, for God's sake. Do not attach. Attach, 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 attach. Right, go. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And even when it does, it's a little bit slow. How are we doing in terms of our war? 14%. No. Oh, that's right. That's the overall war. We are at uh, a solid 0%. Still, that's a bit more understandable. There we go. So that's when that guy did it. I wonder if... I wonder if actually what happened. We died, but because it was the last character and we didn't have an heir, it just didn't show us dying. It just, you know, game over us. It's a bit crap, isn't it? It should say, like, oh, he dropped down dead. Maybe it does. And as we've established, I can't read. In that case, I should probably go out of my way to bribe him to... To, I, I should nominate a bishop coadjutor, basically. Um, otherwise, we really are going to struggle here. So, uh, who are we looking at? I'm thinking the ambitious, just patient guy. Emmerich, please. Uh, I hope so. Is he going to ask us to pay? No. Fuck. Okay, we need some money then, if that's the case. Um, wow, this has suddenly become a really, really difficult playthrough. Fine. You need to go. Ugo Dieste. Again, it's bloody Ugo Dieste, the, 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 the son of U Ugo Dieste, who was the second character we played in Mad World. You need to... I seriously piss off with this nepotism and allow our nepotism instead. Um, there's not much we can do then. There's, there's really nothing we can do right now until we pick up a bit more cash. Can I... A, anyone got any of that? Anyone got any of that cash? Expel the Jews. Can we do that? It's be higher than Duke. Fuck. I was kind of hoping we could just do that and avoid some other debt. Um, let's write a theorem paper. Ask for help from those around me. That's also fine. Uh, we could borrow money to maybe avoid a game over, but I'm not going to be doing that because that's how we're in this mess in the first place. Wait, we become a possessed lunatic if we take both. Um, again, it's a choice of, you know, potentially losing Gregarious, potentially losing Zealous. I, I think th there is a strong argument for going for this one. Oh, but Gregarious is so good, though. Um, what does possessed actually do? Just personal combat attraction opinion. The church don't like it. Well, fuck the church. No, the church don't even give a shit. It's just an attraction opinion. We're never going to get married. So it, it makes no difference. It only gives us bonuses. It's good. Possessed is a good trait. Why would I not take it? I mean, there's some events based around being possessed. Why would I not take it? Nobody ca nobody cares. It, it's just us being stronger at combat because we, I don't know, rip the throats out, bite their ears off, Mike Tyson style. I have no clue. Point is, it's just a bonus. Uh, what does the lunatic do again? Attraction opinion, vassal opinion. We better got any vassals we care about. It's the same thing again. It's just giving us bonuses in that our other lunatics will like us. And that's the lie I'm telling myself. Thank you. Um, pay 10 gold to us? Oh, appreciate that. We've broken someone's life and actually succeeded. we got 68 gold. Why don't we try and go for another bribe on him again? Come on. Uh, nominate. Where is he? He's, uh, this guy. Yeah, Emmerich. Emmerich. <laughs> he looks like that Australian comedian. I can't for the life of me remember his bloody name now. Um, it'll come to me as we play. I have asked Herzogi Ugo to nominate Emmerich Diert as my success. I um, know that's not pronounced Herzogi, okay? It's just funny to me. Let me have this. Fuck off. Let me have anything at this stage. Select his crusader beneficiary. Yeah, what's he going to get? A total of nothing. He'll get a nice letter from the Pope. Uh, no, no, he won't. He'll get a nice letter from someone in the Vatican who's never met the Pope before. Zero percent. We're really not gaining any just because we're attached to armies. He's putting his damn life on the line. Whoa. Hello. Nowadays, clerics don't even try to hide their corruption. Yeah, okay, my bad. <laughs> Offices and other positions power sold for money and everyone knows about it. This is the one time we haven't got any money, but want the power. Um, suggest... Okay, higher architects. Oh, shit. Monumentality. Huge cathedrals dedicated to our Lord Bunnishurus' favor. Oh, shit. That's cool. Oh, that's a really good idea. Um, ask Theologian. I don't really want to do that. I mean, we might be able to get ourselves a better a better court physician. Because right now, our guy's fucking garbage. Or at least not doing a good job. Um, 
How much is a seat in the college now, then? Still 3600 I thought maybe there'd be a reduction on that because they're a bit more susceptible to it, but I guess if everyone can buy seats, they'd kind of be the opposite case. Um, impressed with piety. I am very pious. Lose 400 piety to gain 100. I mean, it goes on to our successor, so it's either we get a game over or we keep it. As far as I'm concerned, that means only one thing. Right, we keep it. Uh, I'll work hard on my paper while I'm out fighting the uh, fighting the infidels in Jerusalem, and you can take this one too, my friend. Okay, 2741. We're kind of position getting ourselves into a position whereby... Pope has died. Good. Whereby we could be looking at College of Cardinals within, like, maybe next episode. Still got power this fucking debt, though. But they're still waiting on... I assume this is just the image that shows when there is no Pope right now. Um, seeing the open corruption in holy institutions of the Catholic Church, many believers have turned away from the clerics seeking their faith in heresies. So we're just waiting on them to pick a new Pope at this stage, I guess. Fair enough. Um, and does it show no head of the religion? Oh, right now it is just that. Okay, that's that's a cool mechanic. That's a good idea. So we'll wait until the next Pope is elected. Um, he's no longer... Doing, okay, we don't really care about this one. So 100%. And now he wrote how to build a well. You are a fantastic man. Okay, build cost, build time, reduce center, is it build, just build time. Fine, that's, that's the important one anyway. Well, not right now when we've got no money, but in the future, that's the important one. Boom, there we go. The Holy See is won, and we have... What the fuck are you talking about? Rexy Episcopus, I'll... Okay. Crusader, who's this random man? His brother is the... So, that's cool. Uh, I mean, Jerusalem is now a Christian kingdom led by a Christian... Theocracy Kingdom, which is awesome. Um, if not a little bit odd. Okay, fair enough. I thought for a second we'd just been elected Pope, which would have been a big surprise seeing as we're not even on the damn college. The conclave has selected a new Pope. He calls himself Pope Clemens, and I assume everyone else does too. God bless his holiness. Oh, that's bad news. Um, but God bless his holiness. Absolutely. Bang on. There he is. The Pope. Um, what's he good for? Temperate. Okay, just. Zealous. He's wrathful. Cruel. We've got quite a few things in common here. Fair enough. Uh, can I now do some of those other things that we were going to do a second ago? Oh, I don't want to do, do that quite yet. Um, I haven't got any paper. I was just seeing if it refreshed any of our options, seeing as he died and then it's replaced him. But it is actually done by recently impressed with piety. That doesn't work. This doesn't happen with China, does it? If the Chinese emperor dies, you can... Does that refresh so you can send a commander? You'd think I'd know. But again, I just wish I could read. Fucking hell. <laughs> he lasted at like a week. How long were you Pope for? Uh... So he was, how long, he, he genuinely lasted two weeks and then died. That's unbelievable. Wait, 3rd of March already? Whoa, that blew fast quick. Will you tell me three months passed in that small amount of time? No, you're a liar. Okay, we finished our, another poor theological article. One day we'll get it. Wait, do we not have like really high learning though? Yeah, we've got 20 learning. I wonder what is the determining factor of that? Maybe like scholarship. We've got erudite as well though. Maybe we need scholar or mystic or something like that. Anyway, you see a fucking article. So is your, is your homework. For fuck's sake. You've been feeling nervous the last couple of nights, sleeping restlessly, feeling a strange pull in your mind. This is, again, the legitimate werewolf event, not the lunatic werewolf event, although we are eligible for both at this point. Awu, what's this? It's a werewolf. He's a priest. He's a werewolf. It's Carnale Valdis Frigis on a horse. It's a wolf on a horse. Sleeping outside, all wet, and now we're going to get the fucking flu, aren't we? Good. Maybe it'll be enough to kill him off, and then we can start again. <laughs> Oh, our core physician died. Okay, that's not such a bad thing, I guess. Although it is right now, given that we're dying. Um, you'll do, yeah. Diligent, just. I think he wouldn't fuck this up. Erudite, so, you know, he'll probably know one or two things about how not to kill us dead. Fine. Still got to start working on setting up coagitus so that we don't die, just in case this does genuinely kill us. Um, not that it will keep us immortal. I meant it more that, you know, we don't get a game over here. So I started swaying him. Uh, Ugo the weasel. We're a werewolf. You know, that. what is that? Imperial bureaucrat. From the administrative role to a military one's character excels at keeping the wheels of the empire turning. That's cool. Maybe that's what you get from the, uh, that was one of the three traits, right? You get from the society. Again, I'd love to start doing this, but I feel like we need a, a more lefty, lofty height of Duke or something like that, but rather than just be crappy, possessed, lunatic, nut job count werewolf man. What have I done? What have I done to him? <sighs> just fucking, I hope you enjoyed my torture chamber. Good. Um, do we want to buy Finger of St. John or anyone's finger? Wait, we can buy anyone's finger. This can be... Oh, I see what he's saying. Sorry, my bad. I thought he was saying this could be anyone's finger and then buying anyone's finger. Uh, I must purchase the most holy relic, 10 gold. That seems like a fair deal. Finger of St. John for 10 gold is absolutely okay. What's he going to get? Measles? Uh, it's great pox. How did he catch great pox? He's syphilis. How did he catch that? Probably, probably dodgy meat. 
just some really dodgy fried chicken or something. Your court physician, Arrigo de Bellinzona, has come to see you and offers treatment. Uh, my life is in your hands. Go on then. Why not? There we go. We lost a leg. Brilliant. Oh, it gets worse. This is brutal. This mod pack's brutal. Thank you all for watching. We're on the precipice of yet another fucking game over. What the hell, man? We will, uh, we'll swear our lead. I'll focus on Succession next time. I didn't realize Succession was going to be such a pain in the ass, but that is a hard lesson learned. These theocracies are really just brutal, aren't they? Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place. Please bear in mind that patron changes are coming tomorrow. So that's going to speed up the, the end card so you can all stop closing the video 10 minutes early and brewing in my fucking analytics. Thanks. Thanks to Alchemia, Aiden W, Anthony Gully, Asuna Kurato, Aunt Moses, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Bellex Romba, Ben Hoffman, Booty Getter, Chesty, Grosses, Chris, Cyric, 313, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fucking Vasquez, Gogolus, Grimwolf, Gwen S, Harik, Harry McGowan, Huey Longdong, Iguana Squad, Jackson Woodman, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Limpy George, Michael Mullen, Nostros, Necrofilin, Odie, Pelvis Presley, Peyton Densar, Paul, Rodin, Saraby, Scott, Scan, Slipping Nip, Somnus, Shay, The One Ring, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Udric H, Vacuous Packers, Farragon, Valadradine, and William Green for their support, the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to the finale of the Patreon list before we go for a full reset. So if you have backed on Patreon within the last few days, you will be the top of tomorrow's list. And a big shout out goes out to Astro, Wrongstar, I Am Sagittaire, Astro, Erotha, Icy the Great, Adrian Ellison, and Mythomatic. I'm going to randomize it right now. And then maybe, who knows? Maybe one of these people get a shout-out tomorrow as well. Loot boxes. No, let's not frame it as that. I don't want to be investigated. <laughs>